Okay, so in the last five years, the amount of top 1% income earners moving out of the United States has increased drastically. And out of all the different options you have that are still relatively close to the mainland of the US, well, a lot of people seem to be going to this small island right here, which to me made very little sense. I mean, it's still a US territory and sure, you might be saving a little bit of money here and there, but is it really worth all that hassle? Well, apparently a lot of people disagree with me. And as a matter of fact, some notorious individuals such as Mr. Here in My Garage Dude, Ty Lopez himself, and of course the Pokemon master, Mr. Logan Paul, and other public figures have all made their move to Puerto Rico very public, and it stirred up a little bit of controversy. Now, there's one reason that is extremely obvious as to why these top income earners are flocking to Puerto Rico, and that's obviously tax benefits. But actually, after hours and hours of research, I found a whole new world of reasons as to why not only people are moving to Puerto Rico, but also why people are staying. So in this video, I'll be outlining some of the top reasons as to why people are flocking to Puerto Rico and perhaps why I should move there too. So the first reason I'm gonna talk about is the obvious one we've already pointed out, which are taxes. I mean, there are thousands of seven, eight figure earners who are moving to Puerto Rico, but for me, the question still remains, why Puerto Rico? I mean, why not like the Bahamas or the Dominican Republic, which by the way, are both closer to the mainland? Well, to answer this question, we gotta go back to the year 2012, which is the year I graduated high school. <laughs> Now, in this year, the Puerto Rican government enacted something called Act 60, Act 22, and Act 20, especially Act 22 and Act 20. All three acts were pretty much different forms of incentives for high income earners to move to Puerto Rico with the hopes that attracting these individuals and their businesses would provide a boost to the local economy of Puerto Rico and its local communities, which sounds great in theory. I mean, look at states like Texas, Tennessee, Florida, I mean, the last five years, they've experienced tremendous amounts of economic growth because of their tax situations favoring economic producers and entrepreneurs alike to come to their state and do business. Whereas states like Illinois, New York, California have been retracting economically for the opposite reason. But in the case of Puerto Rico, it completely backfired on them. First and foremost, the locals absolutely hate it. And as a matter of fact, according to Time Magazine, the grassroots activist collective, hashtag abolish Act 60, whose name refers to the tax break loss, has started to ask for gringos to go home. Which by the way, I'm not even a gringo. I'm a Chino technically. And gringos to go home is pretty extreme. And strangely enough, whether you want to call it coincidence, ever since Act 60, 22, and 20 were enacted in 2012, Puerto Rico has pretty much been in an economic recession since then. But going back to why all this backfired, let's take a look at this. I want you to look at this city right here. This is the city of Dorado, located 30 minutes west of San Juan. And this is pretty much where all the rich people move to when they move to Puerto Rico. And to say that this place is a bit different than the rest of the country is quite an understatement. And as a matter of fact, according to Yahoo Finance, Ritz Carlton, the five-star hotel chain, created a gated community within the Dorado Beach area that includes a luxury resort, uh, golf courses, million dollar villas, and of course, multi-million dollar homes. And I'm not gonna lie guys, I checked out the Ritz Carlton Resort in Dorado, Puerto Rico, and let's just say my wife and I are heavily considering a trip and a vacation pretty soon. But here's the problem, all the wealth that's moving to Puerto Rico seem to be centralizing in certain locations like Dorado for the most part, as opposed to being spread across all throughout the country and its local economies. And well, think about it, the primary way that a lot of local economies and municipalities benefit off of wealthy individuals moving there is property tax. I mean, how else do you think Texas has those really big fancy schools? Cost of this new high school football stadium is $72 million. But as for Puerto Rico, guess how much they require in property taxes for wealthy individuals moving into the country? Yup, you guessed it, a big fat zero. I mean, honestly, you can't expect just a bunch of rich people to move in, charge them nothing for moving in, and then expect your economy to magically grow. The rich white guy land. Oh! <laughs> so of course, this leads us to the next question. So exactly how much in taxes are people saving when they move to Puerto Rico? Well, according to an article written on Bloomberg, High earning investors in the US pay up to 20% in capital gains tax and as much as 37% on short term gains. In Puerto Rico, they pay nothing. And companies based on the American mainland pay 21% in federal corporate tax plus an individual state tax compared to just 4% 
on the island. On top of that, we have 0% tax rate on distributions from earnings, profits, and interest income, 0% tax rate on short-term and long-term capital gains, and 90% tax exemption from personal property taxes for certain types of businesses. Now, keep in mind, it's 100% exemption on the first five years. Now, after that five years, the taxable portion will be subject to the regular tax rate, which can currently be up to 8.83%. However, after accounting for the 90% exemption, which you still get after the five years, that brings your taxes to 0.883%. 0.883%. Louder! 0.883%. Okay, so having said that, let's apply this to real life. Real life scenarios, I'm gonna give you two different situations. One situation is where you stay in the mainland of the US and the other situation is where you move to Puerto Rico. Situation A and situation B. In both scenarios, you're single and congratulations, you made $700,000 for that year. Woo! Now in scenario A, you live in the mainland of the United States and with the current federal tax rate, you pay $157,804 and 25 cents plus 37% on any amount over $523,600, which amounts, if you do the math, to an additional $65,268. Now, if you add those two numbers together, that adds up to $223,072.25 for federal taxes. But wait! Because of course we have to account and include our lovely friendly neighborhood state taxes. What the f and if you use my home state of Illinois tax rate, which is a flat tax rate of 4.95%, you would pay an additional $34,650, bringing your total for both state and federal taxes to $257,000. $722.25 with you making $700,000 for that year. Well, that sucks. Okay, now let's go to scenario B. This is a scenario where congratulations, you live in Puerto Rico. Now keep in mind, in Puerto Rico, you're taxed on a 4% fixed income tax rate, bringing your total to just $28,000. Custom made clothes, limousines, Rolex watches. So considering these two scenarios, just by moving to Puerto Rico, you would save approximately $230,000 a year in taxes, which by the way, represents around one third of your total income for that year. And if you add one single zero to that 700,000, well, now you're talking about saving two, $3 million a year just on taxes by simply moving to Puerto Rico. Huh, maybe I should start thinking about learning Spanish and moving to Puerto Rico. Now, this is what brings us to another reason as to why people would move there, because in considering the tax benefits, let's think about this for a second. What type of investment assets would benefit off of a 0% tax rate in both short-term and long-term capital gain? Well, you don't have to think much to know that cryptocurrencies and digital assets are the prime benefactors of this 0% short-term and long-term capital gains tax rate. I mean, the concept on how to make money in cryptocurrencies, NFTs, digital assets is to buy something, hope that it goes up and then sell it for a much, much larger price. AKA, you're praying for capital gains to happen. But honestly, at this point in the year 2022, tax benefits don't seem to be the main reason when it comes to cryptocurrency as to why people are moving to Puerto Rico. Well, with Puerto Rico, it's kind of become the place to be. I mean, you have people like Facebook whistleblower Francis Haugen, Haugen, Hadouken, to crypto fund founders, and of course, people like Logan Paul, who all moved to Puerto Rico initially for tax purposes, especially when it comes to their cryptocurrency. But what happens when you start creating a community amongst industry leaders in one centralized location? Well everybody else in that industry are gonna want to move to that place as well. I mean, if all the best opportunities, deals, and relationships are in one central location within your industry, wouldn't you wanna move there too? Of course, of course, of course. And as mentioned before, with the 0% tax rate on short-term and long-term capital gains, I mean, at this point, it's a no-brainer if a lot of your future investments have a lot to do with cryptocurrencies and digital-based assets. And considering that these things aren't slowing down anytime soon and more individuals in this industry are moving to Puerto Rico, again, I wouldn't be surprised if the Puerto Rican economy continues to grow off the back 
of this industry. Now, obviously, there's a lot more reasons, such as the remote work migration, the ability to work from wherever you want. And the whole thing we haven't mentioned in this video is how nice the weather is. It's currently here where I'm filming in Illinois. It was two degrees when I woke up. Uh, I checked the weather in Puerto Rico this morning at 9.30 a.m. and it was 74 degrees. So if the tax benefits, the financial benefits, the investment benefits weren't enough, well, they also have awesome weather too. So with that said, let me know your guys' thoughts. I mean, I'm probably not gonna move to Puerto Rico anytime soon, but it was just really fun doing research for this video and it actually taught me a lot about the culture of Puerto Rico itself, which I thoroughly enjoyed. So with that said, comment down below. If you're a seven or eight figure income earner, would you move to Puerto Rico? Do you think there's another place that's more beneficial than Puerto Rico? And what do you think about all these guys like Logan Paul and Ty Lopez moving there? Do you think it's more of a flex, it's a public thing, or do you think it's an actual permanent thing that's going to happen? So with that said, guys, thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel if you're feeling so generous, like this video and share it as well with your friends. So until next time, I'll see you in the next one.